welcome back to another episode of Katie on the flip side. This week it's time for another Cooking with Katie Pie. As a lot of y'all know, we have been doing the Arbonne 28 day detox and we have been cooking some delicious meals and a lot of y'all have asked for recipes. So I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at one of the recipes. It's a great, quick, easy recipe to whip up in the summertime. The kids will love it. It's pizza, chicken, no, it's not at all. I feel like you're Snapchatting me. It's a great, quick, easy, and delicious recipe that you can whip up. <laughs> I don't know why this is so hard. It's a great, quick, and easy recipe that you can whip up on a summer night after you've been busy running around all day. I don't know, that sounds stupid. It's a great, quick, and easy recipe that you can whip up and it tastes delicious. It is chicken spinach pizza, but to stay in line with the detox rules for our healthy eating challenge, it is gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, nut-free, and artificial ingredients free. So for anybody that has allergies or for anybody who just wants to have a healthier alternative to your average pizza, this is a great option. It's been one of my favorite meals on the detox. We've made it at least twice. This is actually a really easy recipe ingredient wise. All you need are gluten-free tortillas. I love the Rudy's brand. Pasta sauce, we've got organic pasta sauce here. Some roasted bell pepper strips garlic salt, chicken, spinach, and some dairy-free cheese. Of course, if you're not doing the detox or if you're not interested in needing things to be gluten-free or dairy-free, you can use a real tortilla or you can use real cheese. Use whatever type of ingredients you want, but this just gives you a basic idea of how to do it the healthy way. The first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 425. And then prepare your cookie sheet by spraying with a little coconut oil or olive oil. As always, I like to put a piece of foil on the pan so it's easier cleanup. Place your tortillas on a cookie sheet, one for each person. Stick these in the oven and let them cook for about four to five minutes. So this is where you can kind of add whatever ingredients you like, but the ones that we're adding are two tablespoons of the spaghetti sauce. Whoops. Oh well, don't plop it on the pan. You don't want it to burn up. <laughs> Make sure you spread it on real even, like, you know, just slather it all on there. Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> Next, you're gonna add a good handful of spinach. This would actually probably be better with baby spinach. I bought regular spinach. Baby spinach might make it a little bit, you know, like not as big pieces of spinach. And I promise this seems like a ton of spinach, but it cooks down really well and it gives it a nice little extra hint of health. <laughs> this is a free range, organic, no antibiotics, all the things, chicken breast that Colin cooked up earlier in the pan. So you can definitely prepare ahead for this and make the chicken you know, a day or two in advance. But you can also, if you're in a pinch, just run by the store and grab a free range rotisserie chicken as well. Next we're adding the roasted red peppers. They make for deliciousness on the pizza, especially since we don't like tomatoes. Gives it that extra little flavor. They're kind of like worms. And now we're gonna sprinkle with our non-dairy cheese. This is mozzarella. I like to add cheddar on top of mine too, just because I'm kind of a cheddar freak. sprinkle of garlic salt. And then they're ready to stick in the oven and they only bake for five to seven minutes. So fast, I'm telling you. All right, they're done. And look and smell delicious. Oh my goodness. As 
you can see, the Daya cheese is non-dairy cheese, so it doesn't melt exactly like real cheese does, but it's a pretty good comparison, and this really fulfills my craving for a real pizza. I bet if you gave it to your kids, they wouldn't even really know. And this is the final product, and I promise you, the first time we had these, Cullen and I were both like, this is not gonna fill me up. I'm gonna need more than one of these. But it is really filling because there's a lot of stuff on there. As long as you add a good bit of chicken and add the spinach and it's really, really delicious. I'm telling you, easy, quick, get it done. Feel like you're eating pizza, feel like you're cheating. I know many of y'all have expressed interest in several of the recipes that Cullen has posted on Instagram that we've been eating during this detox, and lots of y'all have also been interested in the detox. If you're interested in signing up, the next detox starts June 1st. It gives you time to enjoy yourself over Memorial Day weekend, start the detox, and be done and ready to put your bathing suit on for the 4th of July. So if you're interested in signing up, there's a link to a video below that tells all about it and what it's about, and also an email where you can email my friend Stacy, and she will get you signed up. Don't forget to like this video for a healthy alternative to pizza. And if you're not subscribed to my Katie on the Flipside channel, why not subscribe? I put out videos every Thursday and I do baby updates and they don't need to know that in this cookie video. If there's a recipe that you've seen us make during the detox that you want me to make on Cooking with Katie Pie, leave a comment below and let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next Thursday for a new video. Catch you on the flip side. Bye! If you like a Tuscan thin crust from your favorite Italian restaurant, that is what this is.